Hi everybody, so um, it's official, we have a functional space telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope has taken its first 1560 images after being pointed at 156 different positions around the predicted location of its target star, a process that took nearly 25 hours and generated 54 gigabytes of raw data. In this video I will try to explain what this means and what the next steps are. But first we have to talk about something. This is the first image of the James Webb Space Telescope from deep space and it is kind of unexpected, at least for me. We were told that this footage taken during its deployment right after being launched into space was going to be the last that we would ever see of Webb. But surprise surprise, it turns out that the telescope does have a sort of hidden camera on board, although rather than a camera, it is a specialized imaging lens located inside the near-infrared camera instrument. So actually it's not used for scientific operations, but strictly for engineering purposes. More specifically to help check that the mirrors are aligned with the science instruments. Some people are asking why they didn't use this lens before to maybe try and show images during the deployment process that took place weeks ago. Well, since it is inside the near-infrared camera and this instrument became operational only after the deployment sequence was over, it simply wouldn't have been possible. And NASA reiterates that this image was not taken by an external engineering camera, but by a lens within the near-infrared camera instrument. In the selfie itself, all the mirrors are pointed toward the target star, but from the perspective of the near-infrared camera, only one of them is directly aligned with the star, and that is why it is so bright. And I think this image also shows us the main purpose of this lens, which is to help the engineers visually check and monitor the mirror alignment process. Now, NASA has also released a fascinating mosaic containing the different images of the target star that each mirror segment was able to capture with the help of the 10 detectors that the near-infrared camera uses. The target star is known as HD 84406, an isolated star in the Ursa Major constellation and it was specifically chosen because it is enough far away from other stars of similar brightness, making it easy to identify. And in this mosaic, you can see that each one of the images is labeled with the corresponding mirror segments that took it. Remember, each unique dot that you see in this mosaic is the same star. And over the next three months, the optics experts and engineers will be aligning each mirror segment individually so that all 18 reflections of this star are precisely overlaid until the telescope only sees a single focused star. And this alignment process is broken down into individual milestones or steps that are to be completed during these three months. The first one is called segment image identification. This step is what we just saw in the first part of this video. The telescope is pointed at a star, in this case HD 84406, in order to capture a series of images, which are then put together to form a picture of that part of the cosmos. And that picture is the mosaic that I showed you moments ago. And this step also includes matching each mirror segment to its corresponding image, which we also got to see. The second and next step is called segment alignment and what the team is going to do here is to focus every image by determining the precise positioning errors of the segments. These adjustments will result in 18 corrected images, however the segments still don't work together as a single mirror. That will require some more steps, one of which is step 3 or image stacking. Here each segment image is stacked on top of one another so that they fall precisely at the center of the field to produce one unified image. The stacking will be performed in three groups. First, the images from the A segments are stacked, followed by the B segments and finally the C segments. Step four is called coarse facing. And this one is special because it will be done at the same time as step five, which is called fine facing. At this stage, even though all the images have been stacked on top of one another, thus concentrating all the light in one single place on the infrared detector, the mirror segments are still acting as 18 small telescopes. And this is because they still need to be perfectly aligned with each other with an accuracy smaller than the wavelength of the light. To do this, the process of coarse facing will be conducted a total of three times with the help of the near-infrared camera and a special sensor 
sensor to measure and correct any small and large alignment errors of the mirror segments. After each round of coarse facing, a round of fine facing is also conducted and as the name indicates, this step will take care of correcting any remaining alignment errors by defocusing each image using special optical elements. Although fine facing will be used only three times in the fifth step of the commissioning process, it will also keep being used routinely throughout the lifespan of the telescope. Once steps 4 and 5 have made sure that the telescope is well aligned at one place in the near infrared camera's field of view, step 6 will consist of extending this alignment to the other three instruments aboard the telescope, which are the near infrared spectrograph, the mid infrared instrument, and the fine guidance system together with the near infrared imager and slitless spectrograph. After this has been completed, the seventh and final step will consist of iterating or repeating earlier steps as often as needed so as to make sure that any residual positioning errors in the primary mirror segments are removed. This will include a final check of the image quality across each of the science instruments. After all the seven steps have been completed, the commissioning of the instruments will begin, but that I will cover in a future video. And in case you haven't heard the word near-infrared camera enough times already, I have to stress how critical an instrument it is. Especially for the initial alignment steps. It was intentionally selected to be used for Webb's initial alignment steps because it has a wide field of view, the unique capability to safely operate at higher temperatures than other instruments, and it is also packed with components specifically designed to aid in the alignment process, such as the lens through which this selfie was taken. It is also important to notice that the near-infrared camera is operating at a temperature far above what is considered ideal. However, this won't be a problem once the alignment process draws to an end and the whole telescope, including the other instruments, reach the ideal cryogenic operating temperatures. The first scientific images are expected to be delivered to the world this very summer, as you probably already know, and well, I guess one less day remaining. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed this update about the James Webb Telescope and could help answer some questions. Thanks for being here and I will see you again very soon. Have a nice day, take care, bye bye.